Hey guys, still here, and welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. There is something wrong with our bloody ships today, is what the British cried when they were losing battle cruisers at Jutland. Now, my job in this mitch, this this mission, this match, this yeah, if you call that together, you call it a mitch. Uh, in this mission is to see if I can do better. You're playing the role of Admiral David Beatty on the eve of the Battle of Jutland. Your job? See if your battle cruisers can outperform the sorry British performance in the first stages of the Battle of Jutland. Sent in by none other than Liara to Sony. So it's interesting to see a Mass Effect character actually taking an interest in naval history. Now, I'm going to be doing this in a slightly different configuration than what the scenario originally prescribed, which was nine British battle cruisers against six German battle cruisers. Um, they have a small tech advantage, just four years, but I'm going to even up the numbers anyway. Nine of mine versus nine of theirs. The reason for this is that I don't believe that just giving the Germans six battle cruisers would make it very fair. Because generally, I'm a little better at managing the ships than the AI is. So let's get to designing a battle cruiser. Now, we only get one hull for the standard, bat standard battle cruiser. Uh, let's go for something that's not too big. I'd say 21,000 tons is enough. Range, not important. Bulkheads, yes, please. Engine, turbines, semi oil. Let's go for forced boilers, a bit of auxiliary engines. Uh, group 3, since I cannot get crew 4. Yes, heavy barbette thickness. I would rather prefer it if I don't actually get blown up by citadels, which then seem to cause flash fires or ammo detonations. Let's go for heavy shells on uh, advanced hydraulic turrets with enhanced loading. And as for propellants, Lidite 1 is fun. 200% HE shell fire chance. It just burns them down real quick. It also gives me a hell of a lot flash fire chance, plus 60%. Let's see if I can mitigate that as much as possible. Uh, this seems to be the lowest amount, white powder. 7.5% chan chance for flash fires, whereas over here it's already 27. This is 20, no, 40, and this is 60. So let's go with white powder. Then we need a rangefinder. Now it is only 1910 for these British dread, oh, sorry, battle cruisers. So stereoscopic two is what we have, and radio advanced. Okay, I probably won't have too many different options for builds on these ships because they generally don't have a lot of slots. But let's see what I can figure out. Um, a funnel system for weight offset one four. That's not too bad. What sort of guns can we place on this? 13 inch guns at the best. Oh, and we can only get the dual barrels. The triples hadn't been invented yet? Well, that's possible, I suppose. Um, I'm thinking of going with a formation line abreast. So ships side by side by side and going for a front heavy firepower. This is already as far back as I can put it. Uh, Side-mounted Mark III 13-inch guns. Okay, they stick up a bit more room than I was hoping for. Yeah, that's sort of what I want, but I also want a... Jesus, that's a big turret. That's a standard superimposed barbette. Good God, that thing's enormous. You see, I was hoping to put a turret uh, on a barbette and then two in front. I'm not sure if that's going to work. Let's go with the 306 ton barbette. Center line, 13 inch. No, I guess it's, I don't think it's gonna be any good. Center line, side mounted, nine inch guns, dual. You'd have something like this. Might actually work. Like that. So you have 13 inch guns and then a couple of 9 inch as, I don't know, secondary primary guns. 
That's a contradiction of terms, but anyway. 25% for weight offset, though. Ah, there we go. That compensates a lot out of it. Okay. Anti-torpedo protection. Yes, yeah, some. I guess I'm going to have to reduce speed. Let's make that 28 knots, 29 knots. Mm, if I put another one of those weird turret combinations on here, it's probably going to be too heavy. But I could try. There. No, it's not too heavy yet. The thing is, we still have a four weight offset. And I don't really know how to compensate for that because these nine inch guns are pretty much as far back as I can put them. Without interfering too much. Starboard weight offset, yeah. There, point two. Look at that. Look at that. This is a very weird design. But if I go bow in, I got six barrels. I got two 13 inch and four 9 inch. And we got about 370 tons to play around with as far as belt armor goes. And considering that we start at a range of 13, no, 10,000 meters, uh, it might be worth having quite a bit of belt armor. Hmm. Not that much, though. A bit more turret armor. Oof. We're running into the limitations of these ships. I don't like this low amount of armor. Conning tower to 9 inch. Yeah, that's it. 20,998 tons. Four weight offset, 6.5%. Courtesy of having the torpedo tube right at the bow. So I'll also have to put one at the stern and that fixes it back to 1.9. Uh, these are going to be standard torpedoes, more or less used for pushing in if and when I can, but I don't really expect to be relying on them too much. This is the resistance class of British battlecruisers. Let's see if this weird turret setup of mine is going to be effective. Hold. Okay. They're forming up in a 4 4 1 formation. We get a 5 3 1. And we're all broadside to each other. Glorious. Enterprise, Princess Royal, Black Prince, Hard to Port. Resistance, Valiant, Defense, Royal Oak, How to Port. Hey, how you doing? Long time no see, buddy. Uh, Ocean Heart Starboard. All ships. Focus this one down. I think it's going to be most effective to just knock out one gun at a time. All the stern batteries from both the Princess Royal, Black Prince, and Enterprise are opening up. Accuracy is pretty good. Actually better on the 9-inch guns than it is on the 13s. Some damage has been inflicted on the German battlecruiser. We're probably going to need a lot more. Let me take a picture. That will do. Now I'm hoping that by targeting this ship, I might accidentally hit that one behind it. And, well, I hope that my belt armor is going to stand up. Because we're broadside. It's just going to be a big slog fest. Identification is 25%. Turn to port faster. What sort of turret setup do you guys have? Ooh, that's a lot. Fairly high amount. 3, 3, 3. So 9 barrels. Of seemingly fairly large caliber. Casemate guns, some secondaries. 
I didn't even bother with secondaries on these builds, mostly because I thought, you know what? I don't think a case-made gun or any other kind of secondary is going to be that effective against a battle cruiser, even at this range. So I decided to just completely forgo it. Now I imagine that I'm not quite in torp range. 6-1. Oh, I am in torp range, but I don't think I can land one. Oh! There's something wrong with your bloody ships today. First battle cruiser sinks due to a flash fire. Next up, the other guy. Unfortunately, it seems like the Howe is not doing very well. She's getting subjected to some serious flooding. She's lost two engines and she's burning. I'm going to have to detach you from the group and try and get you angled a bit more so you hopefully can survive. Current score is eight German battlecruisers to nine British. Identification is coming in. 65%. And since the Germans are all using the same class, it shouldn't be too hard to figure out what they're using. Now, with a starting range of 10,000 meters, the whole line of breast formation is completely gone. I can't get that to work in time, so we'll just have to make do with our weird little formation as is. Although it might allow all of these ships to use a lot more firepower at the same time. This German battlecruiser seems to be taking some serious flooding, but it's not terribly quickly. So either not a lot of compartments have been punctured, or she has standard bulkheads or better. That's my estimation. But soon we'll know for certain. 82% ID. She continues to flood though. Ooh, so does the Howe, but the Howe is alive. And the Howe is still alive. Now, I did give these things some anti-flooding system, so I'm hoping that I can get rid of some of that water, get the buoyancy back up, and just keep the ship fighting. You know what? Torpedo when you can. You got a stern tube. We might as well put it to work. Identification almost complete. You're still flooding? 100%. Tell me what you got. Minimum. Okay. Minimum bulkheads. 13 inch guns. You got AUX 2 and Shaft 1. You do not have torpedoes. That's comforting. Anti Torp 3, double bottom hull, standard amount of bulkheads, anti flood 2, Citadel 3, heavy shells, reduced shell complements, TNT explosives, rangefinder 2, stereoscopic, and hydro 1. We've inflicted 2.9k damage, they've inflicted 900. So far, the British are doing quite well. It is, however, going to be difficult to pen this ship at an angle like this. The Citadel just cannot be penned at this angle. But maybe these guys can. Yep. It won't be easy to pen the ship there. But it's doable. Torpedo away. Origin defense. The how is not capable of launching torpedoes, especially with the defense in the way. Uh, defense is part of the group from Resistance and Valiant. I'm going to have to tell these guys to go solo now. So there's not much of anything left of a formation. Royal Oak. Sorry, Princess Royal, Enterprise, and Black Prince moving forward. And that leaves the ocean on the far port side, far left. I wonder if these guys have already detected the torps. They are not that hard to spot. Plus eight identification chance. Or spotting chance. I'm hoping to puncture through the side of the ship, preferably stern or bow, so I can flutter out some more. Come on, buddy. Your ship is getting hammered. Take a hint. Get some flooding. No, 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 not you, defense. Not you. The other guy. The Bayern. Oh, Bayern's Countering the flooding. Buoyancy going back up. Steady as she goes. 
Valiant there, Torpedo on the Bayern. Uh, Valiant, Torpedo on the Leipzig. Oh, fuck. Royal Oak, Art Port. Uh, How back. Enterprise, Princess Royal. I'm not sure why these guys are fucking up their formation. Oh shit, the defense has been seriously flooded. Torpedo away from the defense towards Friedrich de Grosse. Or, sorry, Grosse. Not Grosse. Grosse. Damage inflicted 3.2k, 1.7k. Bayern is doing quite quite alright, actually, for the damage that she's taken. <clears throat> I wonder if the Friedrich has detected the Torp yet. Now she has. I'm afraid that the defense won't be able to sustain this many hits for a sustained period of time. I can't turn her away either. Because then she'll be very much exposed to all the guns on the German ships. How heavy are these things? 27,650 tons. Alright. I think that my torpedoes might be a very important asset. Unfortunately, that a Grosse might have turned away too fast. So I won't be able to land that. I want to use the ocean to cut through that formation. Torp, potentially the Prince Adelbert from the bow. And maybe again from the stern. Defense is once again flooding. Casemate destroyed on Bayern. She's flooding. Yep, new compartment has been struck. Oh dear. Defense just got a flash fire. Look at that. That's what, 15 compartments on fire? And several flooding. The Germans are catching up. They have now done 3.7k damage versus now 3.5. Mm, how fast do these things turn? Fairly quickly. Not too bad. I want you to target the De Grosse. Defense is down. Bayern is flood... No, it's not quite flooding anymore. Yes, a bit. I'm just not sure which compartment it is. Resistance, trying to torpedo the Leipzig. Uh, Valiant, turn to starboard. Enterprise, turn to starboard with your the rest of your battle group. The How has survived. Want you to target Leipzig. Ocean, you are the new favorite target of the entirety of the German fleet. Or at least this side of them. Um... How quickly can I turn? I'm going to have to try and torpedo the Adelbert. And maybe the stern launcher and the De Grosse. How effective have the 9 inch guns been? Not very. 33 damage, 2381. 67, 103. 29 versus 30. Jeez, you barely did shit. Torpedo away versus Leipzig. Bayern is still taking serious damage and flooding again, but seemingly in an already saturated compartment. Leipzig probably detected the Torp is turning to port. Maintain course. Uh, ocean, where are you at? Here you are. Stern torpedo on the De Grosse. We landed a torpedo somewhere. This one? The Königsberg. Interesting. Wasn't even a real target that I was considering, but I'll take it. Torpedo away from the stern. Bow torpedo from the ocean, hoping to get a lock on to the Königsberg. I just don't know if the De Grosse is going to be able to turn in time. and I, I think it will. Probably will. 4.2 versus 4.9. We're taking serious damage here. Bayern is down. Very good. Stern torpedo on the Leipzig if you can resistance. 
Valiant back to port. Oh shit. Resistance just got a flash fire. Come on. Nope, two flash fire, three flash fires. The entirety of her stern turrets are just gone. Look at that. That is impressive. Scary, but impressive. Resistance. Didn't give enough resistance. Valiant. Use your stern launcher to target the Leipzig, which is flooding. Ocean, where's your torp? It's still on course for the De Grosse. It looks like the De Grosse is not able to turn away. The Königsberg has taken massive flooding from that one torpedo that was maybe coming out from the ocean. I'm not sure. Flooding on the De Grosse, two compartments filling up with water. Graf Spee also took some flooding. Damage, 5 versus 9.8k for the Germans. That is not good. Torpedo away from Valiant. Leipzig probably will not be able to survive that. Continue on course. Enterprise, the rest of your group, I need you guys to continue on because we still have a couple of very healthy battle cruisers back there. Leipzig, looking to take a torpedo amidships, potentially stern. Yep, she's filling up again. And that's before the torpedo even hits. There's the torpedo. Ammo detonation, more flooding, and that should finish the Leipzig off. Wipe out another German ship. Torpedo away versus Königsberg, which is already turning away. So probably no joy there. Graf Spee, serious flooding. Der Grosse, serious flooding. Now, the flash fires inflict so much damage that that's sort of skewing the numbers over here. Um, I think overall we're still pretty even. I'm seeing four healthy, well, not healthy, but four alive German battlecruisers. Six. Yeah, six. That's one, two, three, four, five... Six, seven, eight on my part. Sorry, six. No, three, four, five, six, seven. So we're pretty even. Yeah, that torpedo is not going to hit the Königsberg at all. Uh, Enterprise group. Finish off Königsberg. Wipe out another couple of 13 inch guns before they come back and haunt you. Valiant, same target. How? What's up with you? Chance to pen on Königsberg? 90%! I like it. That's really good. Ocean. Some fire. Looks like I lost a 9 inch turret on the bow. How bad is it? Oh, it's gone. Oh, th sorry, they're both gone. <laughs> they're both gone. Yes. That is unfortunate. I also seem to have some issues with my rudder control. Come on, take out the Königsberg if you can. I need to wipe out the Königsberg. It's weak. That needs to go. The other ones seem to be pumping out some of the water that they have taken on during those floodings. Their guns seem perfectly fine, though. Hey, Royal Oak. You're solo. How about you push in and get ready to torp? Ocean. Hard to starboard. Try to land a torp against the Württemberg. I'm not sure if the Ocean's going to survive the punishment that she's being subjected to from Württemberg and Königsberg at the same time. Stern tube should be more or less in a decent firing angle right now. Torpedo away. Flash fire on the ocean. Crap. Königsberg flooding again. K 
Königsberg taking some serious damage, but not the floodings that I'm looking for. Valiant, continue to intercept. Enterprise, get ready to torpedo the Mars. Flash fire! There we go. That's a quick way to get rid of Königsberg. The ocean is still... Still afloat. Ish. Um, who do we want to go for next? De Grosse. Mr. Royal Oak, how's the how doing? Alive. And kicking. Get ready to torpedo De Grosse. She has one compartment that's filled up with water. And that seems to also house an engine. Because that engine's not coming back online. Range to target, two kilometers. Torpedo when ready. Ooh. Serious damage inflicted on Royal Oak. I have one, two, three, four, five, six compartments flooding. Three engines damaged. Torpedo away, Royal Oak. Turn to port. Try to launch the stern tube against the Prince Adelberts. Prince Adelberts on fire. It looks like the De Grosse has not yet detected the torpedo. Destroy the main gun. Great, that's the 13 inch on the stern. De Grosse looks to get hit towards the stern, which is a good place to get hit. There we go. Rudder and engine immediately take damage. Oh, that's an even better way to get rid of a ship. Flash fire. Nice work. The Mars just took a torpedo. She's flooding. Uh, that was courtesy of, I think, Enterprise? Well, I'm not 100% on that. Now, at this point, I have still seven ships alive. Versus... Three, three active German ships. I'm not sure if I can confidently say that there's nothing wrong with our bloody ships today. I mean, we did take some flash fires. It did take out some of the guns. But I think it's not as bad. Could have been a hell of a lot worse. Now, can we take out the Mars or do you want another torpedo? I don't quite like the angle that the Mars is sailing at. It's too easy for her to dodge. Range 1600 meters. Steady as she goes. Angle chance is probably ridiculously high. Yeah, there we go. They got two full healths and one semi. <clears throat> okay, Valiant. Move towards Württemberg. I want the ocean to just disengage. Oh shit! The Prince Adelbert! I kind of forgot about you. Torpedo away from the ocean. I want the ocean to try and survive. I don't think that torpedo is going to do much. No. Uh, Black Prince, I have a job for you. Enterprise, range, one kilometer. Valiant's going to be intercepting that one. Enterprise is flooding. Nothing too serious, it's one compartment, it's just the bow. Range, 900 meters. Bringing the ship around to use the bow torpedo tube. So far it seems to be just bouncing off of the ship. Come on. Angle should be good. Go for it. Please don't tell me that torpedo tube got destroyed. No, it's operational. Torpedo is away. Oh god, now Enterprise is taking serious damage now. She just got... I think a 9 inch destroyed. 
Was it? No, it was just an ammo detonation. Well, just. I mean, it could have been worse. Where's the Adelbert at? Here you are. Black Prince, that one's yours. Please hit that torpedo. Because we could really use another kill. Uh, Prince's Royal. Carry on. Yep, torpedo landed on the Mars. No flooding, though, because we hit a compartment section that was already flooded. That sucks. We are definitely not done with this fight yet. Enterprise got a flash fire. The amount of flash fires is too damn high. Enterprise is down. Another kill to the Germans. Valiant, two and a half clicks out. Mars is still here. Damn it. Princess Royal just launched a torpedo at her. Slow down a bit. Hopefully reload your torpedo tube by the time that the Grash Bay comes into range. Uh, Black Prince, where are you at? Here you are. I risk a collision. That's not what I want. What I want is to torpedo the bow on this ship and then just turn away quickly. So let's set the rudder to maximum port. She should be torping any second now. Fire on the Black Prince. What kind of... Oh, you guys were using high TNT. Torpedo away from Black Prince. Valiant. Torpedo when ready. Target Württemberg. Torpedo away from Valiant. Princess Royal. Torp is still running good. Mars might be trying to avoid. Actually, quite successfully so. But I think she just can't quite get away from the torpedo because she's too heavy. Fire and flooding in the compartment that was not yet flooded. That could leave a serious amount of water in the Mars. I mean, more than there already was. Torpedo will hit the Württemberg. Maximum star return. Black Prince status. Black Prince. Use your stern tube, buddy. Use the stern tube. Stern tube away. Prince Adalbert. You can barely see with the wake, but there's the torpedo right there. Prince Adalbert hits where the torp lands. Mars sinks due to heavy flooding. Thank you. That took you forever, but we finally achieved it. Princess Royal, new target, Graf Spee, full health battle cruiser. I appear to have a missing 13 inch gun. It's out of action. Royal Oak is still trying to pitch in. At a range of 7.4, she's pretty damn capable of penetrating the armor on the Prince Adalbert. It's just that her accuracy is not that good. Black Prince, status. Pretty okay. Looks like the Prince Adalbert's still flooding. Torpedo ready on Prince's Royal. Valiant is still chasing down the Württemberg. Damage done, 19k for the Germans, 15k for the British. Steady as she goes. Looks like the garage space turning. How fast are you? 30 knots, at best. Looks like the avoidance system is kicking in. Collision avoidance. Come on, princess. Your torpedo tube is ready. Do you really not have that angle? Come on, girl. 
flooding. Just using main guns. Princess. Launch the damn torpedo. Oh, heavy flooding on the Prince Adelbert killed her. Excellent. So the Black Prince was able to completely decimate that ship, and I now can probably head over to the Württemberg, which is still dancing with Valiant. Ah, finally, torpedo away from Princess Royal. Looks to be striking the Grasbe amidships. Slash stern. I'm thinking it's going to hit here. That'd be ideal. Yep. Right there. I was off by one compartment. Germans, 21k. British, 16k. But that's not telling the whole story, though, is it? The Mars is flooding. Oh, sorry, the Mars is sinking, and so is the Prince Adelbert. Leaving them with the Graf Spee, which is quickly flooding as well. And the Württemberg, which is now surrounded by the British battlecruisers. The Black Prince took a flash fire, got her main gun destroyed, and seems to be struggling to stay afloat. There goes Graf Spee. Well done. Oh crap, fire and flooding on the Valiant. Princess Royal, hard to starboard. You're still flooding. Engine damaged. The problem is that she's constantly turning. Which makes torpedo predictions particularly tricky. I'm very happy that the Germans didn't have any torps on their ships. That would have made my skirmishing, brawling, a hell of a lot more difficult. Range, 1400. Continue to close. <sighs> Torpedo away, Valiant. That could finish her off. Württemberg detected the torpedo. But with two damaged engines and a completely flooded bow section, I don't think you're going to be able to get out of the way. So, bend over. Because here comes the torpedo. Striking yet another engine and causing a bit of flooding. And that looks to be the end of the Germans. So, the British survive with one, two, three, four, five, six battlecruisers alive out of the original nine. With just three ships sunk by the Germans and nine battlecruisers sunk by the British, I'd say this one definitely goes to the British. Sure, the British battlecruisers will need some repairs, but overall they should be salvageable, and they should be back into the fight in a couple of months. Thank you guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you guys soon for another video.